All right, video introduction for the trash can set of videos. So, why did I do trash can video? You're about to see. Uh, had this cool idea, I thought, for using larger sized trash cans, you know, going to a bigger tank, and uh, wanted to try and consolidate how many cans I was using to make water, especially for transfer. Um, I'm just putting both videos together because some of, some of the content will probably be helpful for you guys from the first video, um, and uh, and then you know the after action report, which is the second video. It's all one video, but I put both together. Maybe you guys will go ahead and uh, and like that second part of the video in case you guys are thinking about using a 96 gallon uh, trash can. You know, um, don't do it. That, that, that's the moral of the story. Don't do a 96 gallon trash can on wheels. Uh, so if that's all you need to see, um, that's basically the explanation that you get by watching the rest of this video. So if you want to see um, why to use trash cans if you're new to the hobby, uh, if you're not using trash cans, if you don't have an extravagant fish room with a water maker system or whatnot, and you're looking for some way to you know do your one month water change like I do, um, Maybe this video is going to help you out. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, watch the rest of the video if this is for you guys. And um, uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, uh, enjoy. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to check in on trash cans here. Uh, they're a necessary thing in the aquarium hobby. And just wanted to go over what I have found since I'm moving from these 44-gallon uh, brutes with the wheels. Uh, Super good investment. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep these around anyways, just for uh, for maintenance until I um, realize that I don't need them anymore. And uh, I've gone on to these 96 gallon toter. Um, yeah, they're just called the 363 liter uh, 96 gallon toter uh, ones. If you can see that on the camera there. But I wanted to go ahead and just you know do a highlight on it real quick. You know, if you're if you're new to using trash cans, um, they're super they're super handy. These ones are built really well, and I'm going to show you inside the trash can uh, a couple things you want to look for. But it may sound kind of silly, but you want to make sure it's a sealed can. These are very simple because it's just a simple plastic apparatus. Uh, these have wheels on them, and they have a crossbar in the back where the wheels are. So uh, they also, in the front, have a handle. So the ones we get from the city here actually have the handle going inside of the can, inside the apparatus. That's not gonna work in our case because usually it's a hole um, or it's a sealed hole, but it's a rusty kind of piece of metal that you can't trust. I'll show you when we get into this that this is a sealed unit or should be. I haven't done a load test in water uh, with these yet, and uh, but I just got done cleaning them. That's why I look like a complete mess. You know, just some palm olive, and uh, uh, this was actually super helpful. I'm glad I still had this for uh, cleaning the cars with, just because you really want to get down in there and get out any kind of manufacturing uh, plastics. Uh, these are dirty. You know, when the, you get them from Home Depot or wherever you get them from for shipping. So you want to make sure you get a really good scrub out on them, dry them off, and uh, you know I'm, I'm pretty excited for these. There, there, not very many of them locally, and unfortunately I need to go take this one back. So I'm going to show you guys why. Uh, I didn't notice that there was a hole in this one. It's a manufacturing defect. Um, most people who buy this can probably don't care. I obviously care because I can't have water leaking down way at the bottom. So how did I find it? I was cleaning the inside of the trash can with uh, the towel and just looking around trying to you know see if there's anything I need to get out and I found what looked to be a, a light spot. So I'm going to show you here real quick um, but you know I have three of these because really it's a 350 ish kind of gallon system. I don't know if I'll keep all of them. I'll probably keep two, um, but at least on the first setup, I'm going to probably need this one, the other one that I have, and all of this just so I've got plenty of water and 
it's going to take me a few days to make this stuff. So let's go ahead and show you what I found and what you kind of want to be on the look for. If you can't get these trash cans, go ahead and look out for the following. Um, let's go over here and you'll see that basically in this can, it's sealed. So that area down there, sealed. And where the wheels are, it's sealed. So the plastic actually wraps around where they put it in for the uh, uh, for the crossbar for the wheels. So that's really nice to have, and it's what you need. So now if we come down here, let me go ahead, and hopefully we can zoom in on this. Yeah, I don't think it's going to come out, but we'll try. Basically, what you should see dead center in the frame is, and I'll see if I can get it on video um, or later in post-processing, but you should see dead center a hole. And, you know, I'll try and bring it out on the outside of this, this uh, can too, but that hole, it looks like a dribble of water, and it's not. So if we come to the outside here, hey Maggie, hey, say hi to camera. So we can see right down in here, this is actually the exterior of it. And I could probably put my, I mean, it's, it's kind of easy. I could start peeling it off right there. So just be on the lookout for this, guys. Make sure you're doing it outside so that way you actually have some good light uh, as your asset. Because if you don't, uh, you're going to find out when you're doing your load test with all your water in there, um, that you're going to have a leaky can. And uh, I don't think anybody likes a leaky can. So, um, anyways, I hope this helps you guys out if you're looking for new trash cans and you don't, you know, have a hardware store near you. You know, these toter cans should be good. I'll let you guys know if they don't work out. Maybe they've got holes in them that I haven't found. Um, you know, I admit that I have not looked to see if uh, the water will leach into it. I'm guessing it's not a big deal because you probably won't have water in it for more than a couple days. Um, but uh, it's it's probably something you should look into. If you know that these cans are not a good idea, feel free to comment below. Um, but other than that, um, you know, I hope this helps you guys out. So thanks for checking in, and uh, let's go ahead and end with a little corgi shot right here. Oh, here we go. All right. Say bye to everybody, Bentley. Say hi. Bye. Hey everybody, check in. Uh, part two of the trash can videos. Who would have thought that I'd be making not one, but two videos about trash cans? But I am. So, it's actually super important. The giant 96 gallon toter, toter, yep, toter, trash can not not a good situation you probably saw the last video i had three uh one of which i was returning and so i was going to go ahead and, and buy another one uh to replace it but my brother-in-law had a really good point he said what's the load factor on the trash can for water you figure it's about eight pounds per gallon um, of water this is a 96 gallon trash can. That's above 700 pounds of water if you put it up to the top. And this is rated for 335 pounds. Not going to work. It's working. The other one didn't. So the other one's outside. Uh, it was working fine for basically two days um, or a day and a half. It moved a little bit this morning and something in it went. So it must have been a, a weak piece of plastic. Uh, this one, knock on wood, is still doing fine. So uh, I'm back to the 45s, the 45 brutes with the, the little five wheel on the bottom. And so uh, pretty, pretty quickly I need to go ahead and throw the water from that other one into these two. And now I'm running one, two, three, four broods plus this one. Um, what am I going to do moving forward? 
I'm probably going to return this one because what you can't see on video is these things are bulging when you put them up towards the top. Kind of scary. Um, on the bottom where the bar is that, um, that has the wheels uh, connected to it, that area is bulging out as well. So um, I can't wait to get the water out of this thing tomorrow and uh, praying to God that everything goes great with with uh, the water in this thing tonight so but this is the first one that's going that's for sure so that's it uh, for all those who are just tuning in new fish tank is coming to 360 uh, or ish that's what I've equated the water volume to combined water volume so we'll see how it's gonna go I'm sure it's gonna go great that it's getting delivered tonight and, uh, and tomorrow we're going to break down this bad boy who's been very good to me. Um, and I'm uh, going to break it down tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll go ahead and get her going tomorrow night. So anyways, uh, great video about these in the last video. What I'll stand behind is wash your trash cans when you buy them and inspect them. Make sure that there's not a little bit of light coming through them because it'll mean a leak. These, pretty solid. Just buy more of these small ones. I'm going to go see if there's like some 55s or 60s, um, maybe with some enhanced wheels. But the, the moral of the story is don't buy a trash can that has an integrated wheel into it where it's going to have to put load onto that wheel. It's, it's, it's going to have a failure. Um, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time.